Gator Pit Rich here. I'm gonna walk you through this customer. It's going out today to a customer. It's gonna be uh, heading to North Texas, North uh, West Texas actually. We have a obviously a custom Gator Pit designed by me, built by my shop, my guys. We've got a 30 inch diameter by eight foot, three eighths thick wall, main chamber, stainless steel front table. Comes out at least 12 inches. It's a 304 brushed. You can see how pretty that is. It's got the gator pit etching in it. Attached with stainless steel rivets. We've got tail true gauges. These are GT 300 R's. We've got door counterweights. We've got dual birdhouse stacks. Our signature stacks. They rotate all the way around. We've got duals on there, six by six tubes. Plenty of stack. We've got a charcoal grill, 24 inches in diameter. It is quarter inch thick steel. Again, stainless steel front shelf, side access door, slide vents. Inside, you got your removable charcoal grates. Inside here, you have your sliding food trays, dual stacks. We have our signature badge. Gator pit tell true gauges. Inside this big boy, we've got six sliding food trays, three levels, each of the doors. And you can see I'm opening this big pit with one hand. It's that simple with our counterweights. It's perfectly balanced to easily open. We have an insulated firebox. It's got a minimum two inch thick Minimum 2300 degree insulation between two quarter inch walls. We have our gas line with a half inch brass ball valve. We actually use half inch gas pipe. Most of our lines are using this half inch gas pipe, hard pipe all the way through to the front. Slide vents on a half inch thick door. That is a major, major door. Look at the thickness of this compared to my finger. It's thick. Gas assist. Removable heavy duty angle frame fire grate. Fully flanged doors. Nice and tight. You can hear how solid that is. That's real steel. That's gator pit. Backside. Look at these doors. They're perfect. Perfectly aligned. Perfectly balanced. Just the right height. Not to have the door lid hit you in the face. We have a 160,000 BTU burner. It has a control valve here. Again, hard line, half inch pipe. And then from the valve here, because of the angle we have to make to get it to the burner, you have to come in there with your brass tubing, or copper tubing rather, not brass, copper. 160,000 BTUs, quarter inch thick crossbars for your pot supports. We have storage. Plenty of room for wood, chairs, folding tables. We have an extra LP or propane tank holder there. It is removable, it, it comes out, it bolts out. So if the customer needs that additional storage space, you can take that, that tank holder out, but it does give him additional uh, storage for a backup or secondary propane tank. You have our Texas box lights. This is all steel around here, it's not plastic. Steel here as well. Keeps you from damaging your tail lights and it's also pretty cool with the LED lights that light up at night. We have custom tandem wheel, tandem axles, custom wheels, matching spare tire and mount. We actually fabricate this mount ourselves. I don't buy mounts at stores. If you look there, you actually have a quarter inch plate that's cut like a hub. And then you have the lug, uh, the studs that are half inch to match your, your studs on your actual axle or your hubs. And there's a quarter inch thick square tubing in the back that is welded to the storage box. Now what's in this storage box is a 26 gallon freshwater tank, a 12 volt RV, RV marine battery, a two and a half gallon hot water heater, and all that operates your sink here for your running water. And you got a sprayer. And then down below, just like an RV has, down below is your dirty water black water, uh, gray water tank. And it drains just as an RV would. You can see there, pull your valve. And all that drains out, just like you would drain your RV. Again, two-base stainless steel sink. 
enclosure for it. There's a shot down the passenger side. This is your primary tank holder. It locks your tank in place. Has a quick connect regulator hose. No tools required. We've got a <coughs> excuse me. We have a top one jack, a 5,000 pound jack with a removable uh, wheel. That is a steel wheel, not a plastic wheel, and it is detachable. We have your safety chains and hangers. Keeps your chains out of the way when you're not when you're storing a pit. We have a two and five sixteenths Bulldog brand coupler. Not a knockoff Bulldog, but the actual Bulldog brand. And then you have your, bra uh, your breakaway box for your brakes. We use the LEDs so you can always test it. You can see there it says charge with the green light. When you hook it up to your truck and plug it in, it actually will say charging. So it keep, your vehicle will actually keep your battery in here charged. Again, it's a safety feature we put on uh, all of our tandems. Our square tubing for the trailer is a two by three box, a two by three rectangle tubing, reinforced at the stress points. There's more of that tubing that runs across the trailer all the way down, as well as one that runs down the middle of it. Extremely beefy. You got a half inch rail around the front tongue area, just in case he wants to put something here. He can small ice chest or small generator like a little Honda. Uh, 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 2000 watt generator will fit there and he can strap it down again that's stainless we got the running lights we got a paper towel holder our hanger right here there's a two inch ball uh, two inch ball valve drain under the, the the main cooker there's also a drain on the, the grill as well for cleaning it out and you got our typical tuning plates and these big cookers again look at the wall thickness of this that's 3 8 thick steel extremely thick Look at that right there. And then we got our flanging. Look at the nice cut corners. Our end caps are nicely buffed out. You got tight doors. Let me just show you that. No gaps. No leaks. It's like that under here as well. All the way down. Our firebox is nice and smooth. Got flanging there as well all the way around. We've got a protective plate over your gas line. Again, back to your Texas box lights. All of our trailers are going to come with the temporary tag that's registered with the state of Texas Department of Motor Vehicles. You will get and a VIN number assigned to it. You will get all that when you order a Gator Pit trailer. So you don't have to worry about getting it licensed and having problems in any state. You're going to get all the paperwork that goes with this trailer that we process when you order a Gator Pit and when you pick it up. This is already registered in this customer's name with the Texas Department of Motor Vehicles. All he has to do is when he gets back to his county or into his state, all he has to do is go down to his local DMV and, and, and re actually do the, 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 the permanent registration into his name and get his metal plates. Same thing in your state, if you're out of state. So no problems getting our, our trailers registered. I am a licensed Texas dealer and manufacturer of trailers. I am licensed through the state of Texas to build these trailers and to register them. Beautiful pit. This customer is going to love it when he shows up any minute now to pick it up. Look at the quality of this. It's just a gorgeous pit. We don't cut corners. Everything we do is heavy, beefy. We take our time when we build these. We don't stack them high and sell them cheap, guys. This customer waited quite a long time to get this cooker. And it took a long time for us to build it and complete it from start to finish. Uh, if I go back and pull the records on this in the welder, I think we were about six weeks on build with this one cooker. At any one time, there were four welders on it. That's how detailed we are in our quality of construction. Again, we don't hurry up to build this thing. We don't just cut doors out throw a lid into it, throw a counterweight on there, and not worry about how everything looks and how it all fits. Everything is perfect on these gator pits. From your doors fitting right, look at that, that's one hand. That is a huge door. It's a four foot wide cut door for the counterweight, and I just lifted it, and it's three-inch thick, and I just did it with one hand, easily. Again, gator pits custom quality, guys. You only get this here. You won't see this design anywhere else. This is my design for this one particular customer. He's got one of a kind cooker, one of a kind gator. 
I'm Rich Robin. See ya.